and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this one later on for some Abzan Hero. It's going to be our next deck in Standard 2020. Um, yeah, we have a whole bunch of multicolor cards. We got Hero of Precinct 1 here. Basically, where I started with this one is I wanted to play an Abzan uh, Bola Citadel deck. I wanted to play Bola Citadel uh, with some of the life gain stuff like Soren. Um, and I wanted Tulsimur, Soren, you know, Belhan, Othakaya, that kind of stuff. Um, and kind of decided that, that I was looking at, you know, wanting like a whole lot of multicolor cards. And I was like, well, why don't we just make this a Hero Precinct 1 deck as well? So that's what uh, we went with. Um, so, <clears throat> yeah, that's kind of what we have here. Like, Kethys is kind of sneaky good here. It's just a three-mana legend that makes all of our legendary spells cost less. So our Arkaya, Othakaya, Vraska, Soren, Tulsimur, Tristani, even Citadel. You know, we can curve if... <laughs> be really tough mana-wise, but it's possible to have turn three Kethys and then turn four play Bola Citadel. So that's pretty insane. Uh, oh no, it costs one less. Sorry, not cost two less. Sorry, I was thinking of. I was sorry, we were talking about Kefnet before, and I was just thinking about Kefnet. Still, cost one less. Never mind, that doesn't work. Uh, I got I got a flower here to kind of help with the mana a little bit, be able to get the forest or the plains out that we could also have flourish. We probably won't do the flourish too much. We're mostly going to be ca casting flower here, um, but you know it's a good one mana card to trigger here of precinct one. Um, finality can be nice if our opponents are going really wide, or we have the find to bring stuff back. I think Doom, Doom Whisper is just is like really clutch to go with Citadel, like where you get to keep resetting the top of your library for the price of two life. That's a, just a really good combo. But then also, if you're putting cards into your graveyard with, with Doom Whisper, you can either use Soren to bring them back or Find to bring them back as well. Or you can have extra stuff in your graveyard where you can recast them with with Kethys as well. Hey, Frisky Biscuits with that four, five, six. So yeah, hoping this works pretty well. Um, I think we, we could probably do pretty good against uh, the red decks, like Mono Red Cavalcade, uh, with us having a lot of life gain. You know, Bond of Flourishing, Othakaya, Knight of Autumn can gain life or destroy a Cavalcade. Golgari Queen destroys Cavalcade. And then, of course, we have Soren, Belhaunt, that kind of stuff as well. Um, another, like, I'm I'm a little worried about Belhaunt with the mana, you know, with our, our mana. Um, I have... I think 14 green, 15 white, and 16 black as far as sources go. <clears throat> Sarah for the Scales is another option here. It's a lot Sarah for the Scales is a lot easier to cast, but I'm going with Bellhaunt because of the extra life for Citadel. So we'll kind of see how that works. We'll, you know, like whenever so basically whenever we have Bellhaunt, you can be thinking, would Sarah for the Scales be better than Bellhaunt? Or not? We'll see. Alright, here we go. Let's get some abs and hero. How would I design a good Selesnia creature? Um, I don't want it to be able to. I mean, just Corsair Crucifix is like is perfect. Gains life. Gaining life is is a good part of like the white white part, but then also being able to play either extra lands or play get lands into play from other zones. Um, so kind of like. Maybe like Risen Reef. I think Risen Reef would be like a good green white if it said it, if it was like whenever you play a land you gain a life, but then whenever like whenever it would trigger, if it's if if you look at the top card of the library, if it's a land you put it into play, but if it's not a land you just put it back on top. Um. Kind of thing, maybe that. Or maybe you can like scry it to the bottom if it's not a land, but you don't just draw it. All right, we got basic mountain. I'm gonna start with blossoming sands before we. Um, okay, so yeah, they're definitely just Cavalcade. 
They didn't necessarily have to be that tank. With just Mountain. But now we have a lot more information about our Scry. Alright, so Skewer, Skewer. Double Light Up, Double Skewer. So we're going to be casting Othakai here to kill this Burning Tree Vandal. I mean, they may not be Cavalcade, I guess, but they're just Mono Red Aggro. Okay, I guess they are Cavalcade. Six. A 6-6 six, six creature is pretty good against a red deck. Um, so Mortify, Mortify works with our, our, like Mortify works in this form. Yeah, so the question is, question is, is would I play Mortify or would I play Contempt over Mortify if I had the, if I had the uh, ability to, you know, Contempt's not in this format, but if it was, would I play it over Mortify? And maybe not, like for a lot of reasons, because this format, Cavalcade of Calamity is... Um, an important, like, that is an important part of the format. So having the enchantment removal is nice, and, and I have definitely played against a good amount of Wilderness Reclamation as well. But then Mortify also costs one less, of course, but then it also triggers Hero of Precinct 1. I think if it was just, like, Absan... And then, like, and then I also have, like, a, a good amount of four mana cards that I want to be playing. You know, Soren, Belhunt, Braska. So it's kind of tough there as well. Um... <laughs> um. Well, probably not, Steven. You probably have to do your own math homework. What subject are you in? Yeah, it's true, Sufizak. Yeah, that... The uh, the black Eldraine rare land is definitely good in the the control decks you like to play. This is not a matchup I really want to be paying life to surveil. Doom Whisperer is not legendary. Our best possible draw is Soren.
That's not a bad draw either, though. Not necessarily soaring good, but it's good. I lead the Golgar. Pain is weakness, leaving the body. Boom. Abstract Algebra. You can do it, just have the stream on in the background. You can just have the stream on here and you'll be doing your homework right now. Okay. Thunder Kid Awakener is pretty cool. Oh, it only gets elementals back, doesn't it? And I exiled the Scourge Spitter with Legion's End. That was smart. That was smart to exile that. Wow. That's just like the best possible card. Don't have a blocker for it right now, though. I mean, basically, we're not losing this, so. Game's pretty over. Yeah, I'll just play the Doom Whisperer. They can be a six. Uh, power attacker with the lifelink the next turn first. Yeah, I guess I could have gone Kethis and Soren. I forgot about the cost reduction with Kethis. I forgot about that. I did. I missed that. So yeah, I could have gone Kethosaurin. But I like getting Doom Whisper in play first anyway. My opponent knows they're dead. Sacrifices must be made. Hey Elijah. We'll keep all the lands for this turn. Right, because so it's it's three plus three, because so the legend like whenever you whenever you have Kathis in play, your legendary spells cost one less, and then Soren only costs three mana. My opponent is not very happy. My opponent is not very happy. Because I, I want to play Soren this turn. I mean, I could have gone Hero Soren. I made an extra 1-1, one, one, but I'd rather just have Kethis also. We just don't we don't need the hero, basically. Through few 
food or feast, your blood is mine. So waiting them to stop waiting for them to stop roping. Do 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 Thanks, Code Junk. I appreciate that. As long as we win, nothing else matters. The weak beat the strong. So welcome back. <laughs> Ten month streak. Almost at a year. You're getting there. Meet the stone forged fury of my blade. Alright, we're one to know there. And get to mark this down as sub number 17 on the day. No, I, I don't, Steven. I'm just... Because I'm here streaming every day. So I don't play Paper Magic anymore. I mean, Trophy's good. Kind of the, the tough part about turn one temple when you're on the play and you don't know what you're playing against. It's just like... It's like, yeah, it's a good card, I suppose. Ember Kitty. really need that land. We don't want to like flood out too bad, so we'll just put it down to the bottom. You know, with Kethis we get to play Tristani we can play Tristani next turn anyway if we want. Darn. I should probably kill Risen Reef, though. I, lead the I think we should probably be doing that. They're down to 10. We're going to let them kill Vraska here, I think, so that I can have two more two-power creatures attacking next turn. I guess if I do block, though, with Akaya does help. Nah. Oh, I was getting bored anyway. Well, that's not good. Now I don't get to play Tristani. That's not good.
I'm a decent enough pyromancer. Hmm. I sure hope you can't handle the heat. This didn't work out too well. This really did not work out too well. I guess I should have grabbed the land. That was the tough call, whether the land or the Tulsimer, because then like the next turn, you're kind of if I take the Tulsimer, I'm kind of priced into taking the land the next turn. Land, yep. I've ditched land a couple of times, and this has really cost me now. What I do. Good. Don't be surprised if we meet again. Yeah, Doom Whisper is, is a really big flyer that's awesome, but it, it Doom Whisper combos with uh, Citadel. Like, we're a Bolus of Citadel deck. We have two lands down at the bottom, out of the bottom, six cards. <laughs> I've seen puppies whine less than you. Give this. <clears throat> okay. So we still got this champion of the wilds. It's going to be pretty Let awesome. Let me show you what was lost. Well, if we're not going to draw land, at least we keep on drawing a good removal spell. Did they just play the mountain from their hand also? That turn? Because I kind of feel like they did. I kind of feel like they just played a mountain, and then they didn't have a mountain to rummage away. They, it might have been forest. They might have just played a... Oh, no, they played a forest. It was a forest. Because, yeah, you can't rummage away a forest because Regulator can only do mountains and red cards. No, that's the... That's the worst card for me to see. Okay, no land drop. That's good. Hmm... No, yeah, that's bottom. Hopefully no land over there. All things begin and end in nature.
right, cool. Got that thing out of here. <clears throat> Since they don't have land, they probably just have a creature that they're going to be flashing in. So I don't know if, like, attacking makes a lot of sense with them being able to flash in a creature. But I, I know getting rid of the Vivian would be nice. But it's like, what else would their what else would they have? They didn't have land because they they had land. They would have played it and drawn a card with Omnath. You fight like a city brat. They got to be like waiting for me to to attack, and then they pounce on some some creatures, right? This is so difficult. I don't, I don't know which one to do. Defeat is a new beginning. This is probably not good for me. Oh gosh. Oh, I am gonna love tearing this place to the ground. That's really not good. We're fit enough to survive. Elemental decks just never run out of cards. They have so many cards. <laughs> Between Risen Reef, Omnath, Krasis. I mean I it's just everything just draws more cards. They don't run out. I mean, honestly... Honestly, I feel like... I feel like I need Citadel, otherwise I, I can't win, basically. I feel like I just... I need Citadel. Down to 25 cards. I'm at 38. I mean, I made the mistake. I'm not taking that planes, taking the Tulsmer instead of this planes. That was a mistake. You know, or or how I ditched the Overgrown Tomb. 
I thought I was safe, but the, them killing the Kethys. I thought I was safe, but I was not. You picked the wrong fight. <clears throat> yeah, I took the Tulsimer because I had I know I didn't have the mana to cast him, but I had I had another bond of flourishing, so I was gonna be taking another land with I was gonna be taking a land with the second bond of flourishing. I thought it'd be nice to like my second bond of flourishing take a land and have Tulsimer for the next turn. I thought it was a good card to have. But then my next bond of flourishing there was no lands, and then there was no lands after that for a long time. Nothing disgusts me more than law and order. Ugh. I'm down to twenty one cards. See, so yeah, I. I thought I was, like, with the next four cards, I was going to have a land, basically. I thought the Bond of Flourishing or my draw step, one of those was going to be a land. And so I took the Tulsimer. But obviously I was wrong. Our deck could definitely play Akaya's Wrath. I I consider playing Akaya's Wrath in our deck. I didn't have a hand full of five drops. I had one five drop. I had a, I had a Tristani in hand, and then I could have taken with four mana. I had a Tristani, and then I could have taken Tulsimer or Land. Um, with with knowing I was going to be playing another Bond of Flourishing. I'd get out of the way if I were you. It's just the next Bond of Flourishing it had nothing but Doom Whisper, and so then I was looking at a handful of five drops, and so obviously that was not I, that was really bad. You know, if they were flipped, I would have taken like the Doom Whisper, and then it would have been like, okay, now grab this land. Oh, they're, so cute. they're down to f ten cards. Explosively good pyromancer. Everyone knows the bigger explosions are more fun. Turns out Risen Reef with infinite mana is pretty crazy. <laughs> Time to turn up the heat. Gonna be fun. Oh, gosh, look at 
look at all these friends. I let them do their thing. So that was pretty sweet. Yeah, let them do their thing. I learned is that beating Risen Reef is really tough. Alright, we'll see if I don't let's see if I I choose lands more than what I chose last game. It's a really tough call. I'm gonna put it to the bottom. Um. That's a tough call. So yeah, I'm doing this format. There's a lot of people that that want to see this format, Kalua King. A lot of people that like playing these events and everything, and also a new place to build some new decks. And so, um, yeah, that's where we're playing them. So we did not have more lands. So I put the spell down to the bottom, and immediately, you know, put the legions end down to the bottom. Immediately, opponent just has two drop, two drop, just like perfect to be legions ending. What did we win our first one? So yeah, we beat red. So today, in this best of one, I'm still 0 for Simic. I'm 2-0. 2-0 against non-Simic and 0-5 and against Simic. All right, so my plan is finality next turn. It's just whether or not... They gotta have like a big crisis here this next turn, right? Really wish I had finality this turn. If I play like Bell Hunt or Tulsimer, like they're gonna die. Yeah, this would have been a great turn to have finality, but kind of assuming they're going to have a a crisis here. I really hope not. I really hope no crisis. It's fine. Yeah, it's perfectly fine. I was gonna kill the I was gonna kill the Kethis anyway. So that worked out that worked out well. Since we had the backup Kethis, I was gonna save the Bell Hunt. So that worked.
I like a good fight. Notice I didn't say fair. I hope you so Am I <clears throat> dematerializing? So yeah, they can attack Kaya, but if they attack Kaya... It makes it easier for me to deal damage to them. Turns out Kaya's pretty good against Cavalier Thorns. You have to do better than that. I kind of meant to tick that up first. Oh, you don't choose first? Yeah, now they get that thing. That's okay. That should be okay. Assuming they're just going to play a really big... Better watch your back from here on out. Soon they're just going to play a really big voracious Hydra here, right? And then I mortify it. Seems like that's what they're going to do. That works. And so they're dead. Dulcimer. All right, good job, Finality. Good job, Finality. GG's. Ooh, Widespread Brutality is pretty cool. I forgot. I haven't thought about that card in a little while. Card's pretty cool. It's really tough to play a mass cards though in the face of Teferi Time Raveler everywhere. That's the tough part about a mass. I do think that the new three mana sweeper give minus you know name a name a creature type and give minus three minus three to all those cre all creatures of that creature type. I do think that's a really good card that we'll see a good amount of play. I I mean expecting knights to be a deck. There's just so many good knights, and then of course elementals minus three minus three is perfect for like the Nissa lands and everything. So we'll see, but I'm kind of expecting that to see, to see play. It's good against Hero of Precinct One, named Human. Hero is a human that makes other humans. So I'm ditching the basic planes because that doesn't help us cast Bell Hunt. Need a black mana source. Yeah, it is kind of some. Yeah, it's. It's kind of like Bile Blight. It's a, that's a pretty good comparison. 
it costs one more and it's not instant speed, but it gets all creatures that whatever type, not just like the same name. A blue black or a green black unconditioner unconditional board clear. Those those colors don't usually get those at all. Yeah, those don't, don't usually get those, but well, they do sometimes. Black does sometimes. You know, there's damnation. It's like the only good thing they're printing in white these days. Sweepers. I think it's better to play Bell Hunt here while they still have cards in hand instead of just like Othakaya kill Mid. So if we don't draw the land, I'm just going to Othakaya kill Midnight Reaper and attack for two. But while they still have cards in hand to discard. Let's get the bell haunt going. See, like, X, B, B, B. All creatures get minus X, minus X until end turn, and, and X is just how much life you, you pay. You can just pay. They have that, but it's not... It's not BBB, it's tox Toxic Deluge is that. That's two colorless and a black. But that's that's not in standard, obviously. But that's a very similar kind of card there. We want to try to keep on hitting land drops to get to finality. Yay, land. Of course, if they want to attack Vraska Golgari Queen, we get the Othakaya trigger. been looking for land too. Hmm. Smile. I grow bored with this fight.
That's why. That's why I wanted to do with leading with the Golgari Queen was be able to have Golgari Queen find the fifth land and then be able to go Kethis Othakaya. So that's exactly what I wanted to be doing there. Yeah, so Celebrant only triggers on stuff they control. So shocking in, going down to five. They attack Golgari Queen, they go down to three. So that gets risky with me having a couple three power creatures over here and a bunch of other creatures as well. Yeah, I did not... So, we didn't have time to sacrifice the Oath. I did sacrifice a creature before, but I didn't want to sacrifice Oath at that point because I don't didn't want them to be able to target my... Or I didn't want them to be able to attack Golgari Queen. Like, I always wanted Oath in play. And by the time we were actually going to... Like, the turn that we were going to cast the other Oath, I really wanted to minus and kill the Judith. Um, so, I can get... So yeah, they they don't even attack. They can't even really attack here. I think I'm just going to get rid of their last card. I know playing Doom Whisperer kind of sets me up for lethal. I think just putting them in top deck mode. As long as we win, nothing else matters. Because we have mana to cast our spells, we're going to be fine. Got a lot of good spells. I think the utility lands will see a lot of play. They're really, they're very free and... Um, So this attack kind of tells me that they have like Bantu. Gosh, I guess I guess by not blocking, I'm dead to Bantu, right? I guess I'm dead to Bantu either way, aren't I? If I block. That was close. That was close. I'm not sure what they're doing now, though, what their plan is. Was their plan just me block? I'm just being really way too cute. Obviously, I should just be attacking. It's too late now, though. You should fear. Yeah, no, no settle in this format. I sacked Bell Hunt, where I can minus four the Soren and get back Bell Hunt. And just gain three life again. After gaining that eleven life. Really wasn't necessary. <clears throat> All right, three and one. Let's play another one. Do like doing like two of these leagues with these decks.
Did we? Yeah, so we defeated a Simic deck. Yeah, we finally did defeat a Simic deck in there. With the finality. Hey, Jay Rockefeller. Good evening. Bottom. We don't need any more lands. Animals my entire life. Explains a lot, actually. Dispelling. <laughs> I'm going to make myself scarce. Don't love my chances here, to be honest. The mono shock lands. It, boys. It's hurting me. So, do they want to kill Kaya or attack me? All right, they want to attack me. Alright, so we'll be able to Mortify with Trophy next turn. But they get another Growth... You know, they get to just replace Growth Chamber Guardian again here. I had guild business to attend to anyway. Hey, you Ashen Wizard. Thank you so much. Happy to have you here. The sparks don't look so good when all their cards cost one, two, or three. Come and destroy. The sparks not looking good right now. You never know. They may change their mind. And decide to play something that costs four or more. Or you never know, maybe I'll draw like a Tristani. Right deck, Tristani. Stop. Unfortunately, Domri pumping up that power hurts my poor little wolf trying to get their fight on. The only authority that I recognize is chaos. Spell. 
Uh, I guess so. We're barely alive. Come on, play something that costs five or more. Or four or more. Play Shifting Ceratops. Shifting Ceratops. Thunder Maw Hellkite. Is that a card? It's Gargan Hellkite. That one. I don't... Just play a Hellkite. Alright, well, we got to trade. So we're not dead yet. Yeah, that's a good one. My heart beats in unison with the wild. I could see if I draw a hero and wait and not dispark and see if we just top deck a hero. Um, if I do that, though, one, two, three, four, five. I could still play five drops. The only thing that punishes me for doing that is if I draw exactly Bolas' Citadel. All right, going to do this before they minus five, Vivian. No. All right, so as far as cards that were not instance sorceries or land, Throughout that really long game, we drew two. We draw, we drew one hero precinct one, and one Tulsimer. Those cards that were not land or removal spells. Those disparks could have been reasonable, like you know, just regular spells that would have helped out quite a bit. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I was playing. Gonna try some Simic Yoink up next. We'll see how it works. Not sure how good it'll work, but the Simic list that we've been playing against have all looked pretty good. Kathis is cool. Golgari Queen is cool. I don't like seeing Basic Island. Looks like we're just going to be single spelling all the time. Maybe they'll run out of counter spells. Better to like, you know, just like pass turn and have Mortify and, you know, not let them counter on my turn, but, um, the Kaya does lose a lot of value the later this goes. Uh, 
Alright, not looking good. Definitely not looking good now. A treachery non-rotating deck? No, like the Sultai treachery? No, I don't have a non-rotating Sultai treachery list. I'm going with Golgari Queen because, as you can tell, green is green mana is where I'm bottlenecking here. I only have one green mana. <laughs> I leave dead bodies wherever I go, ready to join them. Good. Oh, I was getting bored anyway. So, like, I have the ability to, like, Bell Haunt plus Trophy the next turn. So, I... Okay, so my opponent played the 2-1 there. I don't want to wait till upkeep to Mortify, because then that lets them untap their... And then have, like, Negate and, and that kind of stuff available. Um, it's better to just play the play the Mortify there when they only have the one blue mana where Unsummon is the only thing that saves their creature. I hate that I can't kill the Spectral Sailor. Really want to be killing that Spectral Sailor. Looks like they have a wolf for their last card. No wolf. I mean, I guess I should let them draw the card first. It's a better chance of them getting a land there. But yeah, we can't let them just Spectral Sailor over and over and over again. I guess I, sh I should let the card draw resolve and then afterwards trophy. Draw land. And then me draw spell. 
spell over here, Bolus of Citadel. That's a really, really good spell. That's a really good spell for me. Ugh, that's a really good spell for them. Whiff, no counter spell, please. Resolve. Yay. I did not stop this fight, but I will finish it. That's cool. Embrace the bloodlust. Ugh. Unfortunately, I only have the two legendary cards in the graveyard for the Vraska and Othakaya right now. All right, now we have three. I wish you all short lives. Oh, does Soren, does Soren work like that? No, yeah, so I couldn't minus four Soren. Because it's you you minus the exact X. It's not X or less. Just as with CMCX. So I couldn't I couldn't minus four the Soren to kill the Soren and then be able to replay something else. As far as I know. It's good thinking, though. Oh, that's not a decision for me to make, Idle Ray. All right, so Vraska can help us. Find some more cards. We can also sack the Oath of Kai if we want to put another legendary card into the graveyard. Is it possible they don't have a counter spell? Justify the means. The Golgari Queen resolved last turn. They haven't actually found that many counter spells, just one sabotage and two negates. But even if they do counter it, that's two legendary cards into the graveyard now. As far as Kethis goes. Thanks, Irie. Yeah, so we'll, we need more. Ugh. 
That's the worst card for us to see. Gosh, that thing just draws so many cards. Stop having Spectral Sailor. Stop. That only their second? That's their third. All right, yeah, so that's their third Spectral Sailor. So we need we need a, one more legendary card to put in the graveyard where we can exile the two and then recast it at all. I have two really good creatures out, and I can't dispark either one. It's frustrating. The one creature I can dispark isn't important at all. This is really frustrating. It looks like they're going to win this. I had to draw another Spectral Sailor. Why couldn't they just draw a wolf? Draw so many cards. Yeah, it turns out the Spectral Sailor card is pretty broken. <laughs> it's so good. It's the card that's beating me every single time. All right, Caesar. Take care. Pathetic. So they anticipated for a card. I mean, it doesn't get better for us. Whiff. Draw. Draw. Okay. We have that covered. We did it. We really did it. We really did it. I can get Kaya is perfect against the Spectral game. Sailor, too. Look to see me no more. Wow, we really did it. Um. So they could have had like the they could have flashed in like another Brineborn Cutthroat. But like their their turn was like passing very quickly, so you know didn't feel like they had another Brian Born cut there. So felt like we get attack.
So now we have to be worried about um, the 4-4. Four four. As long as we win, nothing else matters. I want to keep that on. I want to keep that in hand for the night pack ambusher. Wow, we really did it. You beat me? I'm going to make myself scarce. All right, one wolf down. Wasn't that a movie? One wolf down. Pretty sure that was a movie. All right, four and two. This deck's been fun to play. And though that, that one almost slipped away from us, but it didn't. I wonder if Vale of Summer is main deckable in this best of one format. Lots of flash everywhere, lots of just Simic decks in general. So they have like, you know, Agent of Treacheries and stuff. Yeah, this deck with Garuk is going to be sweet. But then sometimes you just play against like the the green aggro deck or the the red aggro deck and you're just be looking at your Veil of Summer doing nothing. Well, really hoping no Vivian. Like Viv Vivian would be really tough, so just hope they just have like lands, other dinky creatures. Did you just call me scrawny? So if they fight, their Domri dies. Okay, so not fighting. Ooh. That hurts. That hurts. Ooh. That's good, though. I can take out Pelt Collector and kill the Domri. I would have rather... I probably, I guess I should say, probably would have... Ugh. Let's take this Cryland. Probably would have rather gotten rid of the Paradise Druid if if it was like a choice, but we need to get rid of the Domri. <laughs> uh, of course, they draw a Pelt Collector. Kaya would have been able to get rid of the Pelt Collector. Uh, I don't know. Let's kill Ceratops. We already have the 4 3 for Ceratops. I'm gonna put it down on the bottom. We haven't seen them have too many expensive cards. At least the, the Gruel decks that we've been playing against. Yeah, you know, like we played against Gruel earlier and Dispark was really bad.
to a world so No hide. Very glad. <clears throat> Very glad they didn't just play the null hide first and grow the pelt collector before attacking. So now we can have the two Tulsimers trade with null hide. Still got Ceratops. Covered with the Knight of Autumn, and now we got Mortify. So I think we got this one covered. I'm going to go ahead and pay two life and surveil. Soren? Yuck. How much should we actually pay? I mean, I guess. I guess we can go two more. Could have just kept the Othakaya on top and been able to just play it the next turn and gain the three life and not have to pay the three. That's the card I wanted to see. So now, obviously, I'm attacking with Doom Whisperer this turn. I demand servitude. Down to one. Back up to five. Oh, yeah, I guess I could have died to shock. <laughs> yeah, I guess you could have died to shock. That could have been a thing. That could have been bad. Yeah, I could have just attacked first, gotten a lot of life, and then play the Knight of Autumn. 
All right, five and two. Abzan Hero. This is our last match here with the deck. Either we win and we get the three win league here or we lose and we uh, do not. Then we get the two loss league. No black mana. Good mulligan, good mulligan. I mean, Citadel is a great card, but I think we got to just ditch the Citadel. You know, we not only need two lands for it, but we also need two black mana. I could just get rid of... Nah, we should probably just get rid of Citadel. Sorry, Citadel. I know you're great. So Temple Garden doesn't help us play. Didn't help us play Citadel. Needing three black for that card. Double Spawn of Mayhem. Well, Spawn of Mayhem's really annoying. Costs four mana. That's really annoying. Everyone is expendable. Ugh, they hit the four mana too. Sacrifices. I don't have two black still. Not good. Spawn lines up perfectly against my removal here. is necessary. <laughs> Darn, they're not going to let me ultimate. And Spawn of Mayhem's just been perfect. Where's our Disparks now? <laughs> where's our where's those Disparks now? So yeah, that was 
a really good metagame call against my deck for the opponents there with Spawn of Mayhem. Um, you know, I, I had like Mortify to Spark the Trophy as ways to get rid of it, really. Doom Whisper to block it. But, or like, oh man, find finality? Yeah, finality would have been amazing. That too. But yeah, as was, we saw, like, with me having, I had Vraska Gugari Queen, though, and it was a three drop that didn't actually cost three. So, um, but yeah, this deck was a lot of fun. I really liked playing this deck. Uh, to say it was pretty impressive uh, overall. And, um, and you know, I, not you know, it it, uh, it went five three, and it felt like the some of our losses were unlucky. We had one, I think one of our wins was was pretty lucky, but overall just felt really solid. Um, we talked about at the beginning whether Bellhaunt or Seraph of the Scales would be better. Obviously, that very last game would rather have Seraph of the Scales to be able to block um, the spawn of mayhem. Like Seraph would have been a whole lot better. But besides that, I really liked Bellhaunt. Bellhaunt played a big role in winning for us, and I, I like the Bellhaunt more. But specifically against Spawn of Mayhem and how we only had one black, if that was Seraph, uh, honestly, maybe we could have ultimated Rasko Golgari Queen by like trading off and then having a couple chump blockers there. But And so like if Bellhaunt was Seraph, we might have won that. But oh well. All right. So that's Abzan Hero. Pretty cool deck here for Standard 2020. So if you're watching later on YouTube, of course, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons over there. And feel free to leave comments. Let me know what you, what you think about the deck as well. Uh, but that's it here for Abzan Hero. And I'll see you for the next video. Thanks for watching.